F.W. Gross uh, High School Alumni Association kicked off its 20-year reunion. New Center 25's David Gibson has more. That's right, every two years of F.W. Gross High School Alumni Association holds a school reunion to bring everyone together to walk down memory lane. And uh, we started it every five years, and then we were, we were dying off so fast, we, we started having it every three years. And then we still was sort of dying off, so we made it every two years. F.W. Gross was named the Victoria Colored School from 1906 to 1939, before moving to 1107 South Depot Street. And with the move came a name change. 39 and marched down uh, Depot Street to this new edifice now known as F. W. Gross High School. I spoke to some alumni who reminisce about life lessons learned while walking through these hallways. Make you discipline because you were also held accountable. If you did the wrong thing, you were held accountable. And when I say held accountable, hey, you paid the price for what you've done. And if they, you won't do it anymore. That's what they were trying to get out of us, and that's what they did accomplish. We taught life, not only educated formally, but we were taught how to live, how to respect people, have consideration for other people, and to do the best you can with whatever you had in life. And I think that was the greatest thing. Alumni Willie Clemens Jr. drove all the way from Dayton, Ohio, which is over a thousand miles to come to the reunion. So much. So much to meet old friends, and some of them are gone, a lot of them are gone. But then I've had a lot of new friends, young people that I worked with at Carver Center when I was in college. Uh, so it's like being home. And uh, although I've been gone about uh, 70 years, it uh, still feel like home to me when I come here. And, and the people are just still so nice. In 1966, the school was closed down as integration began. Some students transferred to Victoria High School, while others went to Stroman High. Alumni went over to the place that was once their learning grounds and hosted a tree planting ceremony. This, to remember past alumni and teachers no longer with us. I think they walk different. Yeah, you know, that, that's pride in the way they do things. You know. So uh, I'm proud of Grosa, I'm proud of Victoria. Mr. Hill believes it's important to pass down this historical information to the next generation to show them how far they've come. And this is what we're trying to do to get, let this carry on to our grandkids, our kids, and our kids' kids. For they know where we come from, we come from a long ways. But the, the journey is still going on. In Victoria, I'm David Gibson for your hometown news.